Hey everyone, I hope you're doing well. A friend recently asked me how to multiply a range of numbers by a single value, so I thought, hey, that's a good idea for a video. Our goal for this video is to flip the signs for all of the values in column C. In other words, we want to turn the negative numbers into positive values. We can flip the sign of a number by multiplying it by negative one. We could accomplish our goal easily enough by adding another column, performing the calculation, copying and pasting values, then removing the original data. However, there's a much quicker way by using options in the Paste Special menu. First, we'll enter the value by which we want to change the numbers in the data set. Since our goal is to flip the signs, we'll enter a negative one. It's not important where we enter this as we'll be removing it when we're finished. Next, we need to copy the negative one, then select our range of values. For this solution to work properly, we have to select only the cells containing values. If we select empty cells, the result will be the desired outcome for cells containing values, but zeros being placed into the selected empty cells. After selecting the range of values, press Paste Special from the ribbon. In the Paste Special menu, we'll select Multiply from the Operations section. Lastly, we need to select Values from the Paste section. By selecting Values, we'll preserve the formatting of our numbers in column C. If we left this section at the default All selection, we would be pasting the formatting of the cell containing the negative one. In other words, we would replace our number formatting in column C with the general formatting of the cell holding the negative one. All that's left is to press OK. We can see that all of the negative values in column C have been transformed into positive values while maintaining their number formatting. We can now delete our negative one as we don't need it anymore. This trick is great to reverse the signs of a range of numbers. Looking at the operations section of the paste special menu again, we can see that in addition to multiplying our range of numbers by another number, we can also add, subtract, or divide the range by another number. This is great if you need to add a constant to or subtract a constant from a range of numbers. Or if you need to scale a range of numbers by a fixed percentage. If you found this video helpful, make sure to like, subscribe, and share. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.